Sweater weather is here again, and today we are unboxing a $1,000 sweater haul from Mac Sweaters. Hello, you lovely person. Welcome back. I am in the middle of getting my farm ready for fall, so I have not been doing a lot of videos. We're trying to get our garden and our harvest preserved and put away for the winter. We're trying to get our animals made, you know, snugly cozy homes for the cold weather. So we've been doing a lot of stuff around here. I haven't had time for videos, but I did have time to enter a contest on Instagram that Max Sweaters was holding. And you just, you know, go through and tag your outfits with your sweaters, and I won and it was a thousand dollar gift card to Max Sweaters. I'm not a lucky person. I don't win contests very often. In fact, I've only ever won two my whole life and both of them have been for these sweaters. <laughs> I think it was about five years ago that Mod Cloth did basically a very similar contest. So they called their Max Sweaters the Charter School Cardigan. If you've ever shopped at Mod Cloth, you've probably seen them. And I already had a dozen of them at least. So, you know, you just go through and tag your outfits with that cardigan, and then every outfit that you tag is a chance to win. I know that I don't win a lot, but I just, I had a feeling I was going to win that contest because I have so many outfits with these sweaters, and I did. I won that one, which was $500 to Mod Cloth about five years ago, and now I've won this one, which is $1,000 to Max Sweaters. So today we're going to look at what $1,000 will get you from Max Sweaters, and I think we're going to do like an unboxing, and then I'll just try on one sweater from each category, because I think this would be just a ridiculously long video if we tried on every single one. So we won't do that. But do stay tuned to my blog and to my Instagram because I will definitely be taking outfit photos with all of these over time. I am a sweater person. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm always cold or the rest of the world is just overly warm, but I live in a place where people run the air conditioner almost year round and I just don't think we need it. We have four seasons here. There's really no reason to run the AC as much as they do here, but they do. And so I have to make accommodations and I just bring sweaters with me everywhere. Max Sweaters has been my favorite brand to buy from. I've been wearing them for years. I started buying them from Mod Cloth years and years ago, and then I just started looking for them to see what else they had, and I have tons of styles and tons of colors, and that's why I love them, because they do have different lengths, different styles, different knits, different colors, and basically I can find something to go with anything that I own. I can find one of their cardigans to go with it. So that is why I've been shopping with them for so long. Plus this stuff lasts. I mean, I'm the, basically the only reason I buy a new one is if it's a style or a color I want. These just, they don't wear out. At least mine don't. Maybe I'm not, you know, that hard on my clothes, but these things have lasted me for years. So I am a big fan of the brand and I'm super excited to unbox this today. I think what we're gonna do is just unbox everything, look at it, and then we'll do a try-on, maybe one of each style, because I think if we did a try-on for everything here, this would just be an absurdly long video. So we'll just stick to the styles and keep it short and sweet. Okay, this is the box. <sighs> okay, this enormous box full of sweaters came to me. This is what, oh! $1,000 worth of sweaters looks like. <sighs> this is going to take a minute. <sighs> As usual, I will leave the links for all of this in the description. I know that Mac has their own store, plus they sell on Amazon, and there are several places like Mod Cloth that carry them, but I will mainly be leaving the links to their shop and to Amazon. All right. Uh. <sighs> so let's just jump in. This is probably my favorite style because it does look like the vintage knits. And so I have, I bought a ton of these. I basically bought one in every color that I didn't already own. And I love the fact that the detail here, they've put this little like sewing ring around the button. I love that. It's just a little something extra. All right, so there it is in purple, green, yellow, 
peach, blush, aqua, peacock, light blue, teal, and oatmeal with cherries. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Bright yellow and navy. There's more. Bronze. There's more. And olive. Okay, that is it for that style. So we will try these on. Actually, I'll pick one color to try on and then we'll move along to the next style. I love these sweaters. I love them for a reason. Look at these colors, look at the fit, look at the way that the style just immediately makes this look more vintage and more refined and more elegant. Please ignore my rooster as I talk about how elegant this outfit is. <laughs> They're just crowing like crazy right now. But anyway, uh, yeah, I love this. Oh, the color is just so beautiful. I love the style. The next style that I got is kind of a longer, chunky cardigan that you kind of wrap up in for fall. I think this is the mauve, if that's how you say it. So a nice big chunky cardigan. I love wrapping up in these and just, you know, if I'm sitting at my laptop or if I'm sitting outside drinking my coffee, I just love to wrap up in sweaters like this. And it has a couple of pockets and it's an open front. So you just kind of wrap it around you. Okay. I also got it in tan. And black. So I got all four colors of this because I love the style. So I'm gonna pick one and we're gonna try it on and see how it looks. I do love this style. I do love this style and I can already tell that I'm just gonna be wrapped up in it like this all winter. And I love this color too. I think it looks really good. Actually, I loved all the colors. That's why I got one of every color. <laughs> but I do love this style. It's very cozy and very soft and it feels very warm. The next style that I bought was a couple of these pullover cardigans with the Peter Pan collar. This one is a blush and light ivory. I've never tried this style from them before, so I'm kind of excited to see what I can put together with it. It's kind of a little bit, you know, gathered at the bottom and it's got these cute little sleeves. So I got that one, blush ivory and moss ivory. That is the only two I got of this style. So let's go and pick one of these to try on. Just went in and looked in my closet and grabbed this skirt to go with it, but it actually almost perfectly matches it in that yellow color. So yeah, this is probably how I'm gonna wear this. If you do check my blog or Instagram, this is probably how you're gonna see this sweater worn because I think it actually goes perfectly with this Halloween skirt. So it has a few wrinkles to steam out, but overall it's a really good fit. Now I ordered everything in a size small basically, or a medium if they didn't have a small, but I wear an extra small typically and the smalls fit me fairly well. So do pay attention to the size charts when you're ordering. Here's the style, I think it's really cute. I love the little collar and the dots and everything. It's very soft and comfortable. I think it's a great sweater. I like the style. Kind of wish I'd, I kind of wish I'd, I'd gotten more. This style I've had actually had my eye on for a couple of years and I've been wanting to try it, but I just, it just keeps getting bumped on my list. So anyway, now I have it. And here's what I love about this one. It's a pullover cardigan. I'm sorry, it's a pullover sweater, but it has this really pretty embroidery pattern on the front. It's plain on the back and you know, it's a little bit fitted at the bottom with short sleeves. This is the only one I got in this color. So let's go try this one. Okay, I know I've probably said this several times during this, but the little decoration right here, this extra detail is what really makes this outfit interesting. It makes it lovely. It makes it sophisticated rather than just being boring or run of the mill. 
It's the little details that make the or break the outfit, basically. So this, I think, makes it. Let me just show you this up close. Nice little embroidery there with with lots of colors that you can work with in this so you can get lots of outfits out of it. My first instinct was red for this flower, but I went with orange because that's what I had close and <laughs> close at hand in the closet and it still works really well. So I, this is a great piece. I think it works really nicely. Something I did not know was that Mac does sweater dresses and you know, I don't really own a lot of sweater dresses so I thought I would try one. So I got this one, it's a tan color. I'm not sure what the official color is, but it's tan. So this is the dress. It has buttons here right on the shoulder for the neckline. It has these little details here in the skirt. It looks like it's a bit fitted at the waist. So that's the front. And then the back is a slightly different pattern as it's all striped. But then it has the details on the bottom too. And these look to be three quarter to half sleeves. So I'm excited to see what I can put together with this one. This one seems like it's gonna be a fun one. Let's try this on. Very nice sweater dress. I think it's the only one that I own. I will probably belt this right around here where you can see there's a knitted uh, midsection, a waistband basically. I'll probably put a belt here, but it's very comfortable. It's not heavy, it's lightweight, but it's still warm. I like the length of the sleeves because long sleeves just drive me nuts and short sleeves are too cold. So this is the perfect length. And I love the details in it. I like the details here in the skirt and it's a great color. I really do love wearing basic pullover sweaters with skirts and high waist trousers. And Mac did have a few of those. So I bought, it looks like three in different colors. So let's start with this one, which is bronze. And the reason I get a lot of mustard and bronze and tan is because I think it is a more vintage academia sort of color palette. And it goes with a lot of what I already have. So that's why I buy a lot of these colors. There's that one, just a basic pullover. And these are the kinds of basics that go with so many things that it is almost, I would, I would call it a wardrobe staple to have a, just a couple basic pullover sweaters like this because they go with a lot. Then I have it in red and I have it in honey. And I know some people are gonna say that, you know, honey and bronze are almost the same, but you're wrong. They're not. So here's the honey one. And just to show you big difference to me. To me, it's a big difference. All right, let's put something together with one of these pullovers. Basic pullover sweater you can do so many things with. And this is a great color because it goes with a lot of things that I already have. So you can wear it with high waist trousers. You can wear it with the regular waist trousers. You can untuck it. You can tuck it in. If I wanted to wear it just untucked, it's a good length because you don't want something that's too short or too long. It tends to change the overall shape of your silhouette. So this is a really good length because it's just right about right about mid hip level. And uh, yeah, it's comfortable, it's lightweight. It's not gonna be too warm. And it's just, it's a basic piece that's gonna work with a lot of outfits. Last, but certainly not least in our sweater haul is this adorable Scotty Dog button down. I got one with cats on orange in my last one. And then when I saw this with the tan and black and the Scotty dogs, I knew I had to have it. And something that I really love about this style is that you can see the reverse on the inside. It is so cute. I almost wish that it were reversible, that you could just take the tag off and reverse it because it's so cute. So let's put something together with this one. Yeah, this is nice and long. I actually like the, sometimes I like the longer length. I do crop sweaters if I'm doing dresses or anything with a high waist. And these do have a high waist, but because they're trousers, this longer line on the sweater actually can be really flattering. Let me show you the back. Yeah, I love this color and I love this little Scotty dog on it. It's just that cute little touch that makes the sweater stand out. That is the end of our sweater haul. In case you are wondering, $1,000 at Mac Cardigans got us. I made it all the way through this video and was sitting down to edit it when I realized I forgot to do this little 
wrap up this little ending part. So that's why it's a different setting, different hair color, totally different day. It's been a few weeks, but I do want to take a moment to say thank you to Max Sweaters for choosing me as the winner of this contest and for making such wonderful sweaters that I have been loving them and wearing them for years. And I want to say thank you to you, you lovely person for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have another one on the way very, very soon because Selkie is doing their fall release of the Highland Fling collection. And we are going to be talking about that. But in the meantime, you can follow me on my blog or on Instagram. I'll leave the links for everything in the description and I'll see you soon. Bye.